Sports Now. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We have a combat cast. Very excited to be here. There's going to be two combat casts in a row. We're going to have one this week. Today is Wednesday and one next Wednesday. Uh, more on that later. Let's show off uh, my co-hosts. Stephanie and Derek, say hello. Hello. Hey. Let's do this. All right. And behind the power station, as usual, Mr. John Anderson. Hi, it's me. Jandy Mankin. John Anderson, always. Always there. Always there. In a creepy way. That's a, that, whoa, Derek. Oh. So uh, today we're going to have some fun. We're going to talk about some, some stuff that's coming with the upcoming patch that's going to come with our new... Uh, character coming out hmm. um, so but we're not going to get into that character today I would maybe maybe pay attention to the upcoming combat cast for that sort of thing you mean maybe next week maybe we'll see hmm. uh, so we're going to talk about today about some cool stuff that's coming to the game a lot of I'd say quality of life stuff first of all that you're going to talk about yep. some good Towers of Time stuff a new game mode that's going to be found in the Tower of Time yes yes um, yes and you're going to go over some of the new variations yes and every character is going to get a third one yep. and the new variations are in this patch yes we're not saying when the patch is coming, it's being worked on right now, it should be out very soon. Yep. No date on that yet, so we'll give the patch notes to you that you'll hear today when that goes live. Now, you know, on Twitter I did post the other day, uh, yesterday about how, wow, people have been ducking my Jack's Fatal Blow. Now there are some balance changes in this, mm -hmm. but not like, this isn't like you know, the post-Evo sort of like, you know, meta-changing patch. There's, there, there are some things, which we will get into some of them. Um, but it's not like a huge one like that. We kind of like where the game is right now, but there are some things. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will be meta changing and everyone has a new variation, but for a lot of the core tools will be the same. Yes. But not all, and we'll yeah. go over some of them. There are definitely some things we'll go over and some things you can read later that we will talk about. But to start, uh, Derek. Hey. All right, so we're going to go over some of the changes that we did for like Towers of Time and the game in general. Now, there's a lot of things in here you're going to see, too. Uh, we follow Reddit, we follow Twitter, we follow Facebook. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some things that have been asked for that, you know, there's a lot of things in game development that happened that, like, oh, that'd be a really cool idea. Mm -hmm. We need to make this game. Yes. And then you have time <laughs> as things go on to where, like, oh, that's a, a, a small annoyance, but we care that much about it that we're going to go ahead and fix that. Yeah. You know? um, um, so one great example is... I, from the Twitters, Kung Lao on Twitter, he tweeted me about skeleton keys. Mm -hmm. um, and can we? is there another way to get them or whatnot? So we've actually added them to drop uh, with the hanging bodies inside of the grip. spear. So if you spear one of the bodies, you have a chance of getting skeleton keys. Now, that being said, um, you, you'll get more skeleton keys and to, to the extent where you'll have more skeleton keys than what you need. But we wanted to solve the problem of people missing skeleton keys. Yeah, we had seen that, and it was definitely something we were working on. There's a lot of different options, and this is what, what we came up with. So I know that I've been tweeting about it a lot. I know I think mm -hmm. I told somebody last week that we were working on it, and this yep. is... And we added more into also the restocks as well. So if you're restocking some of the crypt chests, you also have a higher, much higher chance now of getting skeleton keys. But... Going for those hanging bodies is going to be your easy way to get some new So ones. now you can open everything you need for those who, mm -hmm. who had that issue. Yeah, all right. Um, also, one of my favorite things, another thing people have been asking for, new indicators. We have added in new indicators uh, on the gear select screen, so you'll all be like, what did I get new? I just yep. grind. I just went and grinded like a thousand towers. Where's all my new stuff, right? right? So now you'll have a visual representation of our new indicator. We've gotten a ton about that. Yep. I almost titled the stream, Third Variation, New, new Game indicator. Mode, and New Indicator." It would have been New Indicator. Let's start with that. Right, absolutely. Yeah, so we got that going too. Um, so we also, if you want, uh, we'll get back into it. Um, we reordered the tower platforms. So I don't know, Gianni, can you go to the screen? So you'll see, one, there's an extra tower platform. But we've also reordered them. So we have the Premier slot up front. Now, Tyler, you may say, what's Premier? Uh, uh, should I? What's we, Premier, Derek? So we've also gone through and we've added names to each one of the tower platforms. Premier, Rapid, uh, Assist Towers, the Gauntlets back here, uh, Heroic, and also Co-op. So at all times, there'll be a Co-op tower available. So at all times, there will be a Co-op tower that's available. So if you want to do group battles or if you want to do tag towers those will be available the premier slot is dedicated to like you're you're doing tag towers or if we have a holiday event a special event so that's always front and center so when you come mm -hmm. in you you know this is the premier item inside towers of time and it really fills out the the the, the world it does the extra stuff yeah it I like does. that 
Um, and also, the reason that we have names on these tower platforms is we've also updated the locations of items. So in the previous patch, uh, we had things like found in a Shao Kahn chest or one thing or another. Um, and so now you'll know where in Towers of Time exactly a skin is or a piece of gear. Gotcha. So you'd be like, oh, that's going to be on the Premier platform. That's going to be in Race Against Time. So we're trying to give you guys a better idea of where everything's located instead of just saying Towers of Time. Yeah, and in regards to the Premier Towers too, you know, I talked to Derek a lot. He works really hard on these towers. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming out for those as well. Yes. So Yes. We also, um, in previous patch, added a reward type, which is a piece of gear, augment, or skin for the character that you're playing as. We added more of those across all the tower platforms as well. And then also we reworked the entire brut Brutal Difficulty rewards. So um, those will always, the first time you complete a tower on Brutal Difficulty, will give you something for the character that you're playing as. So if you see a two-fight tower, you beat it, you want to go and do the Brutal Difficulty of that because you're going to get stuff for the characters you're playing as. We want to keep getting more and more rewards for the characters you're playing as and keep you engaged longer. Awesome. Um, let's see. Make sure I got pretty much... We added more boss fights. We added more tag towers. Um, and also, we've added some new um, taunts. Uh, so you'll see some of those being rewarded throughout the tower platforms as well. So we uh, did a pass at a bunch of characters with new taunts as well. By taunts, you mean like the end of rounds? Yes, the in-between round, end of rounds, yes. Those are great, so yeah. good. Yeah, um, and then, of course, we have a new mode. Are we ready for this? I'm ready. Let's let's discuss it, and then after that, we'll, we'll have John play a video, and we can talk over it. But let's talk about it first. Sure. So the new mode is called Team Raids, and you're basically us three are fighting against a boss at the same time on separate fight lines. Um, and then there's challenges that we want to do as a team to trigger modifiers, to put the fight into our favor, giving us either health or armor or something that will damage this boss. Now, the thing about that is everybody has to do them. Everybody has to do them, and of course they're timed. So they put a little bit of pressure on you as well. Right. Um, and then if you fail, you can be like, Tyler, why did you mess up the challenge? And it'll tell you you suck, because as it should, right? I probably will. Um, and then you can, you know, throw shade at whoever's not pulling their weight. Sure. Um, and basically, we have a bunch of those rolling out uh, in this next patch. And it's fun, and you can talk back and forth with each other and be like, do the challenge, everybody jump, everybody do this. And so we just want to bring in new modes that n normally aren't into in fighting games, right? right? It, More it, cooperative things we really like to focus on. It, it reminds me, I mean, you, we call it Team Raid. It does remind me, like, for those of you who've played MMOs, like, there's, like, you have to complete these challenges because that makes it easier. Because these are not, these aren't really walkthroughs. These are challenging yeah. things to do. These, and getting, the, getting all three people to do the thing gives you substantial benefit. Right. And these are the kind of fights where you're going to want to make sure that you have augments equipped, right? Like, you have um, fire resist on your augments. We also made an update to the augments in this patch where they should have, all should have some sort of resist or damage increase on them as well. So if you're playing Scorpion, you know, fire, obviously. Yes, yes. Um, and and that's, that's what I've, I watched where we were making the video yesterday. Like, you know, we had some people playing and uh, having some, some some challenge with it. We got through it, obviously. Right. But like, it, that's, that's they're, they're supposed to be These are difficult. labeled very hard. Yeah. They are labeled very hard. So um, we have a video of one. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and I'll kind of talk through some of the stuff as you'll see it throughout the fight. So we go to we character select. So yes, you go to character select, but before going into the tower, you'll see all the modifiers that are going to be triggered throughout this fight. At each uh, health threshold of the boss, different modifiers will trigger, and also the difficulty of the AI will either increase or decrease depending upon the modifier that's active. In the upper left corner, you see your, your, those are your friends, our, our, oh, dev, our dev accounts over there. But yeah. yeah, those are the dev accounts. Um, and so you can see what your, everybody that's on your team, how much health they have. At the top of the screen, you see team lives. You guys have a shared five lives to beat this boss. And right here, we have the group challenge. Now, everyone has to land an amplified special move in the next three seconds. Oh, are they going to do it? Is he going to get it? Mm, I don't know. It, I wasn't, don't know. it wasn't three seconds. No, no. Oh, <laughs> I oh so they got them. So now everybody on the team gets armor. Um, and as you'll see, Baraka currently has a blood aura on. While he's got that blood aura, he's actually siphoning life from everybody. 
uh, you'll also see the little indicators. Those indicators are showing the other players, where they're currently placed on the fight line, if they're taking damage, if they're uh, comboing the opponent. The UI did a really great job at like kind of putting the team together so you can see what everybody else is doing. Right. Um, it's a ton of fun, and it's really cool, too, at the end when you're the last person, because it tells you you're it. Yeah, last you have stand, to finish final person, yes. Um, and then you can be like, Tyler lost three lives in this match, yeah. right? And then, of course, you get each breakdown of each player on the team, how they performed against the boss, and then, of course, the rewards. Everybody gets... Uh, gear for the character that they're playing as because those are generally the rewards for right. boss fights and then also of course you'll get the tower platform rewards as well awesome but jandy killed that yeah. so that's okay no it's, it's okay fine. it's no, okay it's okay, it's okay yeah uh so that's yeah super fun you mm -hmm. can be the last person left i like my favorite part of the video is where uh you start ducking five times with your tea bag you yeah. it, ducking five times and getting people to do it is can be a challenge yeah um, and the thing is is that the challenges aren't extremely difficult right. like uh one example you didn't see here is everybody just stand in the center of the st of the stage? There's like right? a little green box, but you have to get there. And yep. one guy can be over here getting comboed, but you have a good amount of time to complete these challenges. Right. A lot Def of go ahead. It's definitely something like to get in a party chat and talk with your friends about. Yeah, yeah, you gotta play this with the mind. Yeah, and that, that's the thing too is that like the challenges aren't r incredibly difficult. It's not land a combo, land this, land that. It's more of like hey, jump three times, switch stance, right? Just more fun, goofy things. But you still have to try and pull them off against this boss. Right. Well, yeah, they're not they're not difficult to do, but it could be difficult for all three people to do. Right. If you're in a combo from Scorpion, you I can't duck right now. I'm, yeah, I'm, I can't I'm, duck right now, guys. Sorry. I'm being helper cut. And so. so that'll be rolling out in the new patch. Um, that will be on the premiere platform, alternating between the boss fights. And we'll have we will follow our social, and we'll have more information like when those exactly are going yeah, to start yeah. and stuff. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. So thank you, Derek, for that. Oh. Anything, anything else in that sort of realm? Um, let me check my notes. New indicators? Nope, 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 nope. No, we coo. Looks like looks like we coo. We coo. Uh, all right. So uh, moving on to Stephanie, we're going to talk about some uh, third variations. Yes. Things like that. Any, uh, anything we want to talk about before then about characters? You want to just get right into this? I think we should just get right into it. Okay, cool. So who? We, we're, we're not going to go through all of them because um, there's a lot of characters. Yes. But you've picked out some that. You about like to show. ten or so that I think are very exciting. I mean, well, all are exciting, but sure. these are my highlights. And we're also going to talk about some things like some character changes too. That, yes, the, the a, a few I selected because they have general gameplay changes that I wanted to talk about. For instance, Jack's fatal blow is now a high. Yes. So. Well, you spoiled it. Did I? Yes, spoiled it yesterday. Yeah, you did. You my favorite thing spoiled. ever is people who are just like dropping jacks. Like oh. you have to be below thirty percent to even use that. So you're obviously you're using it a lot. So maybe you're getting beat with jacks. Maybe it's time to drop him anyway. Wow. wow. Is that a hot wow. take? Wait okay. till we get to Liu Kang. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Here we uh, go. So what we're going to start with? Um, well, uh, one interesting thing is we didn't just take a lot of moves and make a new preset. So some are. Some are pretty much the moves were already there. But some moves we actually kind of redesigned and rebalanced because they were never really meant to be in a tournament loadout. And they were either not strong enough or too strong, and we kind of reevaluated a lot of them, and our, our design right. team did some really interesting things. There are some really drastic changes here, and maybe some pretty big surprises. Like, yeah. we're going to start off with a bang. So let's start with Shang Tsung. Ooh, with a bang. All right. Shang Tsung's third loadout is actually a three-slot move that is a brand-new ability. And I, I'm guessing people are probably kind of guessing what it might be. I bet people are like, yes! From the heavens. So, Shang Tsung loses all of his Shang Tsung moves except the Straight Skull, and in return he gets all the ninja moves. All the ninjas. And Shake. So he gets Ermax Lift, Smoke's Shake, Rain's Roundhouse Kick, Reptile Slide. And Crushing Blows that come with those. Things. He gets the Crushing Blows. He gets big combo starters. He gets the space control over max lift. The enhanced slide, it's a lot better than his other slide. He gets the projectile reflect. I think this is an awesome, awesome third variation. So you are let's losing. Say it. It's what the people want. Oh, yeah. I, and mean, that's, I think that's something important to talk about as well. It's like, you know, we've having a third variation has been on the, on the 
<laughs> on the corkboard for a while. Yes. But the thing is, like, you know, when we first, when the game was first built, we had two, and right. those were planned out, QA'd, mm -hmm. made sure everything was balanced and whatnot. So we did the same thing with the third one. We went back in, figured out how to change things, mm -hmm. made sure it was balanced as well. It's not just like throwing new moves on people. Right, that that, right. that not, should work. That yeah. should be fine. Sometimes, in, in some cases, it does. <laughs> there's, there's also, I want to give a shout out to our UI team mm -hmm. who, Every little, you don't, no one thinks about the UI person who set up the little icon or all the text or mm -hmm. even made the space for text to go in. There's so many little UI things that add, I mean, you work with them all the time. Yeah, when you absolutely. add a new, there is a, and they have a lot on their plate. Oh, yes. So shout out to UI them. generally drives a game, right? Right. So. UI producer Jonathan Anderson here. Just a quick <laughs> shout out uh, Thomas Amber, Dan Syed, Terrence Silverstein, the whole team. Yes, they are awesome, and they often get 10 new things to work on that you just never think of. Yeah, absolutely. So shout outs to them. Big shout outs to them for the team, team raid stuff, right? Like there was right. a lot of back and forth and iteration because we're doing a mode that's unlike anything we've ever done before, mm -hmm. right? And for them to translate all the information that's going on in this mode, is, it's been great. We, uh, let's take a look at Shang a little more here. Do, we have, do, you, have any, do you have any sweet, sweet combos? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, Ty, Ducky's the one that plays Shang. Understood. Not, understood. Uh, so let's go to Frost, which is this might be the one I'm most excited you, you've, about. Uh, yeah, you've actually mentioned the Frost thing many times, and I actually don't know a lot about it. So. And I see a lot of fr Frost players rising up. I have to say. Yes. I think Tweety kind of started mm -hmm. it a little bit, and then from there, people have been like, you know. Yeah, let's do, let's do some frost. I've always thought she's this really rad character. She I, is. I love her hair. Arctic Anarchy. Okay, so the first thing she gets is this dive bomb. And this is an example of a move that we've looked at for balance reasons. Uh, there's a lot of minutia with the frames, the recovery on blocks, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be something that happens throughout a lot of these three right. variations. The other thing is that she has these augers, and they no longer track the opponent. Uh, in the earlier version, they would kind of, if the opponent was ducking, they would go down. They're now just straight projectiles. Both of them are like that. Sure. And the first one is a high. And then the last move we gave her, which is really neat, is this overdrive. And this, this is my favorite thing that you've told me about. Yeah, this buffs all of her uh, beam attacks. But the interesting thing is if you amplify it, a timer starts. And when the timer goes off, it takes a while, and it starts beeping. The opponent's actually frozen, and that's new. Previously, you kind of blew them away, and she would get like a forward two, mm -hmm. like a, a, a harder conversion. Now she just gets a full-on freeze. Right. Now, it will go away if you hit her. So the idea would be she's going to activate it. You have a pretty long timer, and she's going to go in, try to get you to block, get you to calm down, because you don't want to be caught in the freeze, and she can throw you or whatever. Or the other way around. Right, exactly. Like, you can go back and start throwing some augers, maybe do a dive bomb when they're not looking for it, keep them on so the ground. So can you poke them out of it or anything like that? Or once that bomb's set, that bomb is set. No. If you hit her, it is disabled. Got it. So that's a super cool, like, just neat, neat, neat yeah, part of the gameplay. Yeah, I think it's a very play. neat mechanic. And just, like, I know there's a lot of players, and especially Frost players, uh, who like setups. Yep. Mm -hmm. That seems like a perfect, like, setup type thing to do. Exactly. I think it will really enhance her kind of weird, creative play style. Awesome. Uh, what other characters do we want to talk about today? Now I definitely want to show Johnny Cage and Jax. Mm -hmm. So with Johnny Cage, we went with a classic MK2 loadout. He has the high fireball, the low fireball, and the uppercut. But the fireballs have been drastically changed. This is another one of those things where like, the moves actually work differently. Now. Yes. Uh, the fireballs before had a huge arc. They didn't hit anybody. Right. But now... <laughs> You can see the mid one is significantly lower, and the high one is still high, but it's not quite as high. He was like throwing them at airplanes. <laughs> and his uppercut, it has had a bunch of little minutia frame data changes. And this, if people never really looked at this, this uppercut is actually super fast. Yeah, it looks really I, fast. I think it has like a nine frame startup. So it's a super fast mid, and if you amplify it, it's safe on block. So I think he can use his fireballs and pressure now. Is anti-air better to kind of zone people out? I think they're really, they have pretty fast recovery. They're, they're pretty good. Okay. And so those are just more of changes to Johnny Cage's normal moves, the existing moves then, right? 
These fireballs, right, they existed before as an ability, but they had a significantly different arc. Right. His one and his other, his main variation, is aren't these. these right, are different right. straight yeah. fireball and the other variations. So now let's check, take a look at Jax. And this one's very exciting to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first thing he gets is his amplified ground pound, where it actually pops the person up. The second thing he gets is this right to bear arm string. Now this has a new ender. He can now do one at the end and he does this Roman Reigns Superman punch mm -hmm. and that is a high. So the interesting thing here is that's actually plus on block. If you block it, he gets to move first, but it's a high. So you can duck it and then punish it if you think he's gonna do it, but then- at, the Well then you never up, do it, right? Then you never do it and you complain on Twitter that Jack sucks. So what do we, how do we fix that? Or you do <laughs> the original ender, which ends in an overhead. The overhead is actually punishable now, though. So this introduces the new meta of if you want the pressure, you go for the high. If the opponent tries to punish that, you go for the overhead. And that's going to keep them guessing. And if you notice, it's about 900 punches. Which means... More, 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 more lit up arms. <laughs> lit up arms. So the last movie game in this one is... Well, there's more. No, it's, it's, there's two. Is there? Right. No, no, I already said the ground pound. Oh, I didn't hear you say it. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So his clap, and this move now has... So before it had heated arms and non-heated arms. There's now a third level of maximum heated arms, maximum heat. And he actually gets a pop-up, which he did not before. Right. And there are some pretty cool like corner combos you can do. And because he has that really long string... You can get heated up again really quickly from yes. the... Yes. Yep. And the crushing blow for his double rocket is to have to do a six hit combo into it. Which I was practicing earlier today when we were talking about yeah, this. Yeah, you had already got it when I told you what uh, Hero right. was doing. So he can get really cool like corner stuff where he ends in the crushing blow and stuff because that string is right. a bajillion hits. To say I already got it, uh, I, took, <laughs> I got it like one time out of 10, but yes, I already yes, got so it. Yes, you said take a look at this. <laughs> That's an improvement though. Lift yeah. a down one in the corner. It That's was really true. embarrassing. It's, you know when people do combos and you're like, watch this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did that a lot. I don't have that problem. I do. <laughs> um, so that is Jax. Can you, can we, what? Well, um, well, well, it's, well, it's all good. It's all, it's good. all good. Moving Were forward. Are you going to try to do it? No. No, 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 no. no. Okay. I just wanted to show the, the Fatal Blow. Oh, well, oh, we, yes. we told him already about it. I mean, really? Yes, Jax's Fatal Blow. Yeah. It is still super fast. It's still going to have a 10 out of 10 success rate. Especially for me, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah, you've never missed it, but it is now a high. And, that's, and, and here's the thing that actually, because you know, people on Twitter were like, oh, is that, oh no, no jacks. And I'm like, I hit people out of the air a ton with it. Oh, yeah. I hit people if they're using projectiles. <laughs> I hit them if they move. The other thing that it brings up that I really like, because I play Hunker Down, is that now that it's an overhead, I mean, a, a, a high part. Yeah, it's definitely not an no, overhead. No, no, not that overhead. Would be awesome. If you push down, just kidding. Uh, it's now that it's a high, people will be trying to duck it. Well, right. my main offense is an overhead. Right. So I can. So there's that kind of thing where if I try to get in, I, and you're ducking right now, I'm still going to overhead you. So I feel Bop. like for me, there's a for, for the level that I play at, that's a really good meta for me. So now we have Sub Zero, and he actually gains his Ice Orb move, which I think is super exciting because Sub Zero is like a pretty good offensive character in this game, and Sub Zero in the last few NRS games have been very defensive with the Ice Clone, and this mm -hmm. is kind of like. The new version of the clone. So right. I think this will be a pretty drastic play style for him. Like, I, I could even see, I mean, Tom. Like, oh, I would love to see Tom do some, some ice clone, except he, he'll, he'll yell about the trap. He, he did get top eight at a recent tournament. He mm -hmm. may never not get top eight again now. I don't know. I think, I think Tom's ready. I think he's ready for this. And then we also gave him... This, I think it's called chill out or something, whatever. And this ice ground <laughs> That pound. sounds like, that sounds right. <laughs> yeah. And this is actually faster. Like you can see this is a combo. And that's another example of like kind of the gameplay minutia changes we made to these moves. Can you show, sure. the, can you show the, uh, the, the ground effect again, please? Thanks. And this is the fun stuff you can do with this too, like slide into it and stuff, right? Can you, yes. That works here? Yeah. So I'm really excited. I've been using the Sub-Zero one. Sub-Zero is one of my favorite characters. Yep. And I've been using it and because I'm a very slow-paced defensive player. <laughs> um, and I, I'm a huge fan. And I've always liked this move. So, and I'm very excited at combos. Yep. All right. So Liu Kang. Liu Kang has the Shaolin Vanish Teleport, 
Oh boy. He gets this command grab with his nunchuck. The Kusunari, is that what it's called? It's something like that. So. I like that move a lot. And he gets nunchuck stance. And one of the really cool things is now you can actually do the command grab from the stance if you have both equipped. Oh, that's awesome. You can also do his projectile parry if you have it equipped, which is not in this loadout, but if you're making a custom loadout. Sure. So he can do like block strings into it, go into the stance, and actually go into it. And you just input down, back, forward, too, and it will mm -hmm. come out. He also has a general gameplay change. His forward four is now two frames slower. <sighs> For those who don't know what forward four is, just show them real quick. It's this string. This is like a really good advancing string. Poke out of it, you know. Yes. Um, we wanted to keep it being kind of one of his go-to strings. That's really what he's like built on. That's what he right. does. But it's now, he already has a fast move with his forward three. He has and a couple other so ones. many tools to get you open. <laughs> like, it's right. awesome. So the idea here is the forward four is just a little bit worse, mm -hmm. a little bit less. It's all you do. Mm -hmm. It'd be like 80% of what you do. Right. You'll need like three more brain cells so it'll be fine. <laughs> and I've been playing him and that's totally what it feels like. Like, cause that's what I want in the character and I like Liu Kang. So yep. Yep. It's, it's not like you now just literally can't do it. Throw down the controller, but it'll make poking out scenarios a little bit easier to deal with if you make that read. And he'll have to commit to doing other stuff. Sure. I'm, I'm actually very interested in this variation of Lou because of the command grab and the nunchuck stats. It's super stacks. fun. I've been wanting to have that stance in there for a while and I, you know, command grabs I really enjoy doing and the fact that those are married together now is really fun for me. Yeah, I, it's, I've been playing it a lot and I really like it. It's a lot of fun to use. Well, train me. That sounds fun. Cool. We can also talk about a few that we don't need to show. Sure. Um, Scorpion actually, very highly requested. Yes. He gets the MK9 neutral jump punch and Misery Blade. Nice, nice. All those, all, if you played the beta and you love Misery Blade. <laughs> it's back. It's back. Get ready. Sonya is going to be Dronia and she gets her, her cat turret moves. Yep, got it. Um, Nightwolf gets his Spirit Tracks roll, mm -hmm. and then the one that pops you up, and Lightning Arrow. Cool. Which I'm a pretty big fan of. It's great effects. Shoutouts to our effects. Yeah. What about what about uh, our girl Jade? Jade, I've been using it. That's why I tweeted about her today. Mm -hmm. She gets her new combos, like her enhanced back two, the three, two, two, down one. Mm -hmm. She gets the projectile uh, reflect. Yep. And then she gets the teleport move. Right. And the teleport move actually does uh, better damage than it used to, and there's uh, other little changes like that. Yeah. So she's got like an anti-zoning, but then with the rush down of the, the new back two, the new sweep, and that stuff. Sure. Cool. So let's show Katana and Kung Lao. And Katana's very, very exciting. Yeah. I've Katana is actually probably the most changed character in this patch. I got okay. a lot of Katana tweets over the last couple of days. Yeah, I got uh, too. I, 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 have a, I have a birthday shout out for one. I hope, I hope <laughs> this makes those tweets slow down. No. They are a passionate community. They are, yeah. They are yeah. very passionate. I agree. Agreed. <laughs> Anyone who was worried that when I retired, the Katana downplay would end, didn't need to be worried about that. No, no. No, they really took. They picked the it mantle. up. They picked it up. Okay. Um, so the first thing is, this is across the board. This is not variation three. She actually has a new amplified air fan, mm -hmm. and this allows her to do combos. So Woo! one of the big things Katana players have gone crazy about is combos. We want more combos. She's supposed to be the combo queen. That's mm -hmm. something that we made up and declared, and it just <laughs> happened. Right. <laughs> right. 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 So she now does. She does have to use a bar meter, but she can get the old school, like MK9 fun combos. Oh, no, that's awesome. If Heck she's yeah. willing to use a bar. Sure. The second thing is she actually has a new crushing blow. Ooh. Into a pop up? Into a pop up, and it begins with an overhead. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into why that's really cool in her variation three. Okay. So the first thing she gets is fan name. Real quick, I'm sorry. Uh, what, what, how does that uh, uh, crushing blow happen? What's the requirement? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. So the first thing she gets is fan NATO, and that sends it across the screen. Yep. That's really good for like trading stuff. Like if he does his hat, she gets the trade. She's gonna get more damage. Sure. The second thing she gets is low fan, and that's where we get into the overhead. So right. the requirement for the crushing blow is the opponent must be crouch blocking mm -hmm. when they get hit. 
So sure. that sets up a 50-50, because now she can special cancel this string. So the idea would be, sometimes you special cancel it into the low, and then when they start ducking it because they're afraid of the low, you go into the overhead. Right. Once per game, you cash out that crushing blow, you get a pop-up money into Big Dammy. Big Dammy. And the last thing she gets in this variation is the corkscrew. That's that's a really cool move. It's a super cool move. It's just elegant. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the princess needs some some elegance. That's right. nice. Even as a revenant, she maintains her class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited. I have personally wanted the low fan in a variation since like way before the game came out. Sure. So I'm very excited. I've been using this one a lot too. It's very exciting. Now, you know, Katana got some, some stuff this time around. Uh, other characters have small things like that too. We yes. aren't going to get to. You'll get to in the in the patch. Uh, I know Mr. Aquaman's asking for, for Codal talk. Codals <laughs> we're not going to show, but it is the other two totems, and it is the Enhanced Sun Disc. Ooh, what about, uh, what about Jackie? Because there's a big Jackie community. If we're not, are we showing Jackie, or are we just going to... Talk we are about. not because I am not good enough to do her new combos. Uh, that is true. That is, I will. The new break combos. Kayfabe. Yes. She gets all of her air moves. She has like the, the air shrapnel gun, the leap, mm -hmm. and the ground pound thing. And she can go crazy. The, the guys in the lab can do wild stuff. Yeah. Right? So Paulo, there's. A Paul, all right. I'm just. This is, we, this is now real couch, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm into the real couch. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yes, Paula wanted me to show this off, and I'm like, well, I'm going to screw him up the combo. So, so why not try? I, I think you should try. It's not happening. It's not all happening. right, all right. <laughs> but so that that's kind of Jackie's new stuff. I know I've got a friend that's just like, w w w come on. She He's going to want to know. He's going to want to know. Gonna that's be in basically the air, it. Non stop going hand. Like, Sonic Fox is going to lose his mind. Mm hmm. But how about a character I, I do know how to play, Kung Lao? Sure. Yes. Why did I just admit any of that? Yes. I don't know. Because it's the real lot, couch, I guess. A lot of truth on this couch today. <laughs> okay. So, Kung Lao gets his great Kung Lao stance, and these moves have drastically changed. They are now significantly faster. Oh, the spirits. Yes. The great Kung Lao. And this oh. actually has a brand new crushing blow requirement Ooh, yep. and reaction. Huge pop up. The requirement is now only the last hit hits, so it right. has to hit from full screen, basically. And generally, I mean, you're using that from full That's screen, exactly so it's a perfect way to and set it up. you can see that it's faster. A uh high. -huh. Yes. Did you just read the screen there? Yeah. <laughs> and then the other thing he gains is the vortex, which he can now amplify, hold it, and send it out. He can hold that? He can hold, hold that. that, yeah. So yes, he got a new crushing blow requirement as well as those things are way sped up. And I'm super excited because I always love that move. I'm, oh yeah. I stand for the great Kung Lao. <laughs> Very like, good. Like great is in his name. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Like Alexander, Kali, <laughs> and Kung Lao. And Kung Lao, there it is. All right, so that that's uh, most of Kung Lao stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna... very, very hyped to see how they uh, use that stance mm -hmm. because I think it's naturally very unexplored in the tournament community because it wasn't right, you know, right. visible. Um, yeah, no, I, this is one of my favorite moves that he has, too. He's got so much that he can do out of it. So the last one I wanted to show was Aaron Black mm -hmm. because he has some animation changes. Oh. This mm. is one, this is one that I've, more. I've wanted to see. Uh, so if I ever played Aaron Black because I'd actually thought about like just playing around with him in casual matches, this would be the kind of one that I'd want to if it existed and now it does. So the first thing he gets is the Tarkatan Bear Trap. Uh, low key, one of my favorite moves in the game. Yeah, it's <laughs> wild. And then he gains Acid Pour. And now, the regular one is significantly shorter. He does not pour acid on you. And the amplified one is when he pours the acid, then he bops you over the head, which is just rude. So this means you do not have to watch an hour long uh, animation every time you get hit. Sure, sure. Although that does make it less salty. Yes. Because yeah. I would get super annoyed by that move. And that also changes the crushing blow. Because the crushing blow is now for the regular version instead of the amplified. Sure. Cool. Well then. Yeah. Mm. Show the bear trap again. There's a thing you can find on our subreddit. Uh, 
of a guy who has all of the, this Aaron Black setup he did with like before this existed, mm -hmm. like created a version of this. Yeah. And did a setup with traps and acid that's fantastic. So go into our subreddit and look for that because it's I mean very, gonna be similar to what you can do here, and it made me laugh. Because <laughs> he awesome. would he would just kept tra trapping the dude. And at one point, the guy didn't know what to do. He put the trap down, and then he did the slide. The guy fell into the trap and like flipped over into the trap. Oh, and that's died. awesome! It was like swish. It was really cool. Swish. Uh, so those are the ones that we wanted to show. Right. And you can check out the patch notes to find out all the details that you're excited about. No, there are, and those will be, and those will be coming out today. They'll be coming out with the patch whenever that mm -hmm. happens. Follow our social, and we'll talk more about that. Um, but yeah, everybody has some really cool stuff they get to do. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of little tiny frame changes that are gonna make a lot of people happy that we're not gonna get into today because that can get a little, get a little in, into the into the weeds for those who I mean, don't. I, I yeah. can go over other ones briefly if you would like. Please. Um, Cetrion has an ability she got last patch, where she can do a random one of her four buffs. She has the tornado in that. Um, Shao Kahn's is spear based. He's got like all of his spear moves. Cool. Cassie has bullet moves. She has the, the bullet reflect where it's like the green orb. Mm -hmm. And she has the grabbing the drone and flying away with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the shadow kick. Raiden has Joe push and he gets the move where he puts the staff in the ground. And, uh, and I think the inputs for Joe push change too, right? Yes. And it replaces a different move. So uh, Baraka gets the Baraka barrage <laughs> and the charge. Noob is combo based. He gets a lot of noob fans are going to be happy that he gets the sickle snag and the sickle overhead move. Cool. I think that'll definitely be very exciting for them. Um, our, our boy Kano. This one, I literally today, someone predicted it. It is Snake Bite and the Eye Laser. Awesome. And Snake Bite. I've won them. I mean, you wanted that forever. So I, I mean, I. Tyler started the original petition. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had the original Snake Bite combo. Yeah. Scarlet gets boiling point where she lifts you up and two of her buffs. Um, it's called the Dundee, remember? Yes, the Dundee. Are we still, am I still on that? that yeah, combo? I think so. Yeah, okay, keep going. Um, <laughs> Cabal gets Gas Blast, um, the Combo Starter, and I think the Spin? There's a chance I made that up. But he okay. definitely okay. gets the Anti-Air Grab and uh, A lot of people would ask about Garrus blast. as well. Gyrus gets the rewind time move, mm. and what's the second one? I shouldn't have asked. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff to remember. There's a lot this. of stuff to remember. <laughs> it's probably on one of these pieces of paper. Maybe so. Man. Yeah. <laughs> man. Uh, great. So, uh, kind of a shorter one today. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa. Collector whoa. gets Chakram. Please be excited. That's really cool. Oh, you got... Birthday shout-outs. Let's go to it. And something that I also forgot to say. Okay. So, um... We also are going to start seeing our holiday towers, right? And so with that, we've also included some new holiday fall-based consumables. That so you'll pumpkin start seeing. spice consumables. Some pumpkin spice consumables. Yeah. So you'll start getting rewarded some of these fall light or fall season um, consumables. Crazy turkeys, um, black cats, stuff like that. So you'll start collecting those things also in towers at time. They'll I'm start to drop. I'm very excited for the cat. Yes, um, but we have birthday shout-outs, bro. I apologize. Also, one of the modifiers in one of the holiday towers is like peak. Like, <laughs> how do we get this in the game? I don't know. It's just fun. All right, all right. Birthday shout outs. We've got Ragnarok. We've got hashtag buff katana. And which I wonder if it's really their birthday or they just wanted me to say that. Well, I think we need, they need to send pictures of their licenses personally. Well, he did say check his profile and it kind of checked out. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Meyer, Gavin Freeberg, uh, Matt Daughtry, Gandyman's dog Kintaro, okay. Winston Williams. Oh, Michael, I didn't know that. Uh, read Sarah's birthday stuff from time to yeah, time. Yeah, right. it's every Monday. Um, Michael Bellapani, the Bell oh. Peppers, Aaron Dizzy Davis. Wait, what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. No, I knew that. Taryn would... Silverstein, and of course... Toasty Dan Forden. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. It was because I was already thinking of Toasty. You and were, I was like, I, I could, yeah, you're were, you were, you were running before you caught the ball. Uh, that happens to me a lot. Yep. Um, and then uh, Tabmock99 wanted a shout out, so shout out. Shout out. It's just combat backwards. Do we know? Yeah. yeah. I don't yes. know. If you He's a historian it. of Mortal Kombat. Well, I know that, yeah. but yeah, I'm just I'm, saying it's. I just... like his videos a lot. Yeah. yeah, no, they're great. He may be more of a nerd about MK than me. 
I, I want to see. I want to wow. see. There should be a nerd off. It's impressive. The jeopardy it's, it's of that. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so happy birthday to all. Excellent. So we will be back again next week. Hey, can we get the Wheel of Chaos back? Maybe someday. P- people, I thought the Wheel of Chaos was awesome. A lot of people just wanted to see straight up fights. You know what I mean? But they don't want to see straight up fights from us, so we should bring back the Wheel of Chaos. I hear your point. This really is real couch. <laughs> real couch. Real couch. Yeah. So uh, hey, we'll be back. Let us know on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let us know on Twitter, right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Again, Pass Me Out, we'll let you know on social. You'll see the patch notes then. I hope you enjoy all these new variations. I think they're great. I'm going to pick one and start working on it right now. Uh, we'll see you again next week, likely on Wednesday again. So uh, thank you so much for joining us on the Combat Cast. Thank you, John, Stephanie, Derek. Woo! We'll see you all next week. Yay.